welcome to the uh, University of California, Irvine. On behalf of the Dr. Samuel M. Jordan Center for Persian Studies and Culture, it is a pleasure to welcome you to the third annual uh, Mehrgan lectures that have been uh, held here. Mehrgan is one of the two important celebrations uh, that has remained with us uh, since the ancient times. And these are seasonal festivals, one at Noruz, Farvardinagan, and then exactly six months uh, later is Mehrgan, and it's the changing of the seasons where lots of traditions are associated with, but these are, of course, our agricultural feasts, and really being cognizant of the time and the changing of the time when you have more uh, darkness than light, and then in Farvardinagan you have the changing of this tradition, as well as, of course, for agricultural reasons, it was an important uh, season to celebrate. These are all due thanks to the support of the Farhang Foundation. I thank Mr. Ali Reza Ardakani, uh, as well as Mr. Hirad Dad Gostar, uh, for making uh, these lectures possible annually. Mehrgan is one of the uh, traditional Iranian holidays, and uh, it's very important to continue to support for this program. Uh, a showing in time to celebrate friendship, love, affection, has a great history in, uh, in the culture. And this is a, a wonderful way to celebrate it by having uh, insightful and, uh, and fascinating talks about the, uh, the philosophy and literature. The Persian language is a common cultural or human heritage shared by many peoples in a variety of religions. People not just in Afghanistan, Iran, and Tajikistan, but people of various ethnicities residing in countless places across the globe, now and over the past thousand years. I was speaking about the history of what we could maybe call spirituality in Persian poetry from the classical period, which would be the 10th century, up until the present time, the 20th century, and how to think about spirituality as not the product of a particular religious tradition, nor even particularly native speakers of Persian, but Persian as a trans-regional language that was used in many different contexts, um, from Bosnia all the way to Bengal. Of course, th there's a longer article but um, I was just trying to pick out some examples to show how things have changed or what types of, uh, what dimensions of spiritual, spirituality show up in, in literature and specifically in poetry. Today I'm going to speak about some contemporary Iranian writers, women writers. It's no doubt well known that more Iranian women have been writing and publishing books, and I mean fiction, um, since the 1979 revolution. And we can say that they have by and large established themselves as integral to the Iranian literary scene. I was interested in looking uh, at how women depict, women writers specifically, depict de domesticity. In other words, their role within the family, um, taking care of children, taking care of families. Has that changed? And my talk uh, compared Simin Donishwar's famous novel, Sawir Shun, to a few short stories and novels written after the revolution, in particular Zoya Pirzad's works and Fariba Wafi's short stories. Um, and what I was able to uh, demonstrate and reveal by analyzing these stories and novels after the revolution is that women are not necessarily uh, limited to their role within the family. In fact, uh, in the novels we see that even the women who, are, women who are taking care of their family, they have other responsibilities outside the home. And they are no longer confined or do not want to be confined to the more traditional roles. And in a few of the short stories I examine, what we see is that they have a quiet resolution that leads them to solve problems that maybe in the past confined women to either male power or the social hierarchy and the pre prescribed roles for women. Oh, 
برار از دل چو بستیزن بستان قفت را که جفا دل ها چو بربندن بربندن بزرف ان بر این جان ها چو بکشاگن بفشان آیا We are very glad to be part of this event. It was very interesting for me because the theme of the event was on uh, Iranian poetry and it is very interesting how Iranian poetry has effects on Iranian music and actually these two go together like two brothers and or two sisters and uh, for us it was a great uh, moment and great a time to perform some uh, classical uh, Persian poetry as well as some contemporary Persian poetry uh, in this event uh, while we uh, composed some pieces around uh, the Iranian poetry in general.